Greetings, people of God. I'm Isaac Whitehead, Jr., Senior Pastor of First Baptist Church. We continue to pray your health and safety and your strength in the Lord. For those fresh out of high school, there's so much to learn, and you will be bombarded with information coming from every direction, and you won't always know what to believe and what not to believe. Deceivers, manipulators, and predators will always make it sound like and look like they have your best interest at heart, but nothing could be further from the truth. Listen, people of God, the world is a scary place for the young, bright-eyed novice to life, and there are plenty of vultures out there that can't wait to tear into your tender flesh. Temptation can come upon you like a high fever that won't let you rest until your lust is satisfied. I always advise people, when you just got to do it, when you just got to have it, wait until the fever breaks. Then you will come to your senses and make the right decisions. The word says, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. You can't have everything you want. You can't get everything you see, and you can't do everything you would like to do, no matter how popular or available it may be. You don't yet know the difference in love and lust. So proceed with caution. Habits and addictions begin with one experience, one drink, one smoke, one time, one hit, and it all seems so innocent until you find yourself months or years later trying to overcome what has come over you. Pray the word of God that says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. If I may repeat myself, you have a chance to stay out of that. Decisions and actions have consequences. And when we make bad decisions or unhealthy decisions, that could be painful and sometimes lifelong consequences. God may forgive you. Victims may forgive you, but there's still a price to pay. Some consequences can alter the course of your life forever. Drinking may damage your liver beyond repair. Smoking can damage your lungs or cause cancer. And drugs will likely ruin your body and your brain. Loose living and unprotected sex can lead to all manner of STDs or sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV AIDS. One bad relationship can disrupt your career and it can destroy your future and potentially good relationship you could have had. There won't be many takers for someone who has been taken by everybody in town. Be careful not to draw unwanted and unhealthy attention to yourself by the way you act or by the way you carry yourself or by the way you dress or by flirting and leading people on. Although I must admit, sometimes all it takes is waking up in the morning. You will be approached with offers and propositions, but stand your ground and maintain your personal standard that you have for yourself. Don't use social media to flirt, to bully, or to settle conflicts or criticize others. And please don't live your life out on Facebook, telling all your business and everyone else's. Show respect and demand that you be respected and command respect by how you present yourself. When friends don't accept you as you are, find some new friends. Beware of those who seek to separate you from your parents or from your family or turn you against them. Their trick is to separate and control and manipulate. The word of God says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Listen, people of God, pray and ask the Lord to open your eyes, to lead you and guide you, Listen and make the Bible your primary textbook. The word says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So why walk in darkness when you can walk in the light? Be your own person. 
You don't have to follow every fad and fashion that blows into town. Discover your own identity. And whatever you do, let it be you. You can't blame everything on the bad crowd. You will have to take responsibility for your own decisions and your own actions. Establish a good work ethic and practice good study habits. Suddenly, you will need more discipline than you ever thought possible. And your discipline and restraint will carry you in challenging times. Set attainable, reasonable, and achievable goals and chase after them with all speed and stay focused on the prize. The word says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. The scripture also tells us, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. The choice is yours. I pray that you will choose life. Thank you for your time and your attention. And remember, I love you and I wish you well in all your endeavors. May God bless you and may God keep you is my prayer.